Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on October the 30th, 2020. Apple shares drop 5% on iPhone release delays. The late launch of new 5G phones forced Apple Inc. customers to postpone new device purchases, causing the company on Thursday to report its sharpest quarterly drop in iPhone sales in two years. At some point after the close of trading, Apple stock fell more than 5%, losing $100 billion of its market value, while boom in Mac and AirPod sales boosted total revenue and profits above analyst expectations, iPhone sales fell 20.7% to $26.4 billion. Since 2013, Apple has been shipping new iPhone every September like a watch. However, delays caused by the pandemic have pushed the announcement back a month to October the 13th and some devices have yet to be released. Apple has surpassed sales expectations significantly this year and has released many new products and services. The company's revenue and earnings for the fourth fiscal quarter ended September the 26th were 64.7 billion 73 cents per share, compared with an analyst estimate of 63.7 billion 70 cents per share. Alphabet continues to grow as ads return to Google. Alphabet Inc., Google's parent company, returned to sales growth on Thursday, surpassing analyst estimates for the third quarter as companies initially plunged by the coronavirus pandemic resumed advertising at the largest online ad provider. Alphabet shares, which rose 13 percent year-on-year, surged 8.5 percent after business hours to $1,689.89. Billions of Google users are spending more time on the Internet this year, but many advertisers stopped spending money in the second quarter as travel and leisure disappeared. When the global economy began to grow again in the third quarter, advertisers flocked to Google. The company also benefited from spending on political ads ahead of the U.S. presidential election on November the 3rd. Ad sales have skyrocketed across all regions and industries. For example, revenues in the United States grew 15 percent in the third quarter, up from 1 percent in the second quarter. Asia-Pacific stock markets decline on Friday. The Asia-Pacific market declined on Friday, ending the week with a downward trend due to concerns over the outcome of the U.S. presidential election and the global economic recovery from COVID-19. Japan's Nikkei 225 fell 1.32 percent, while South Korea's Kospi dropped 1.5 percent. China's Shanghai Composite Index fell 0.5 percent, and the Shenzhen Combatant declined 0.89 percent. The country is expected to release data on Saturday, including the manufacturing and non-manufacturing business activity in Index for October. The Hong Kong Hansen index fell 0.17%. The leader of growth of action in Hong Kong is the electronics manufacturer Xiaomi Corp, whose shares are up 3.2%. The Australian ASX 200 fell 0.22%. Data released today show that the country's producer price index rose 0.4% in the third quarter, better than the 1.2% decline in the previous month. French GDP growth hits record 18.2% in third quarter. France's economy jumped 18.2 percent in the third quarter from the previous three-month preliminary data from the National Statistical Institute in C showed. Thus, Trade and Economics reported that the country's GDP growth has become a new record. Analysts on average predicted that it would be 15.4 percent. Despite strong growth in the French economy, GDP remains below the level seen before the coronavirus outbreak. Compared to the third quarter of 2019, it decreased by 4.3 percent. The growth of consumer spending in France in July through September amounted to 17.3 percent in quarterly terms. In annual terms, the indicator decreased by 2.1 percent. Government spending increased by 15.4 percent quarter-on-quarter and 0.4 percent yoy. Business investment jumped by 23.3 percent by decreased by 5.1 percent yoy.